and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm doing an ethnicity tag. So, where are you from? I am from the south side of Chicago. I lived everywhere on the south side. I live in 35th, what, 34th and Cottage Grove, 45th and King Drive, 46th and Cottage, 80th and Cottage, 82nd and Cottage, or was it 82nd in Maryland? I'm um, 76 in Evans. I lived everywhere on the south side, so I know the south side. It's like if I go to the west side of Chicago, I don't know nothing about the west side. I mean, I've been to the west side, but my mom is from the west side of Chicago, so she knows more about the west side. I don't know as much as her when it comes to the west side. Um, okay. Uh, where's your parents from? My mom is from the west side. My dad from the north side. But my dad's side is from... Louisiana and then my mom's side is my mom's side my mom my grandma her mom her family the Collins family is from Locust Grove Georgia and then my grandpa my mom's dad is from Ohio but this is a little background for our black American culture and history all black Americans our last names Collins all came from masses so during slavery uh usually you get your masses last name so collins is our masses last name it sounds horrible i know but let's just continue on so the collins family i would show like two pictures of my mom's side of the family my great great grandfather collins I think it's M. Boy Collins or Jim? No, Jim Collins. <laughs> this is a lot. Okay, so he is half black and half white because his daddy was a massa. His daddy raped his mom. A lot of people like to romanticize what happened during that time of how masses had a little biracial kids. It's because of rape. I don't like romanticizing it. All the children that were mixed with black and white, it all came from rape. So Massa raped his slave, which was my great great grandpa's mother. So the last name Collins came from that side, and he came from Locust Grove, Georgia. Oh, a little history lesson, it's a lot. So, okay, and I'll show you guys two pictures in this. Next question, the last time you visit your country. The last time I visited America was about almost six months ago, and I missed everything about America, like the people. I, I talk a lot about racism, but when you visit different countries and see how your rights as a woman is taken away and you can say certain things because you're a woman and you're from a different nationality and different race, it's very hard. So I miss everything about America. I miss the food, I miss the culture, I miss the slang. I miss talking to people that can understand me or laugh at my jokes. What part of the country are you from and your family's from? My, I'm from the Midwest. I'm from the Midwest, Illinois. We don't say Illinois. How people say, I say Illinois. Okay. Uh, name one ethnic food you enjoy. It's not one, it's all. I love black eyed peas, fried okra, collard greens for cornbread and ham hocks or turkey links. Um, fried chicken I eat here or there. I don't really need to eat it like that, but I really missed it this time. I'll show you guys a picture. I have fried some uh, fried chicken because I really missed. I want to make food. some food for my country. So I already mixed all my seasonings together. Then I have cornstarch and flour, then eggs, you see right there. I'm gonna like start it up. And then I have my chicken. I seasoned this last night. The, so seasons, the seasonings marinate in the chicken because yeah, you just can't put the seasons on and then cook it afterwards. You have to let the seasons marinate in the chicken so it could be, well, so it could have flakes. I like mine crunchy. Sorry. Um, ooh, this is a Midwest thing. I know this. Fried catfish and spaghetti 
with some bread, a slice of bread. Y'all, I did not know this. It was a Midwest thing, but we do it a lot. <laughs> I eat, my grandma would make fried catfish. I remember she would make fried catfish when I was little with spaghetti, and I loved it. And I used to put, like, my fried catfish and a piece of bread and my spaghetti all in one sandwich so I could just eat it. Um, I like peach cobbler, sweet potato pie. My grandma makes the best sweet potato pie. Um, that's all I miss. Oh, a mac and cheese. Like, I try to make some mac and cheese, and I cannot make it because there's no oven. Hi, y'all ain't gonna have no oven. Like, I like to bake a lot of stuff, and I can't bake it. I gotta cook it on the stove top. Next case. Um, name one ho household item that represents your culture. Every black American knows this. Hot comb. Y'all, I remember when, uh, when my family and I lived on 105th in Michigan, and my mom, I remember for Easter, she would have the hot comb on the stove heat, and I used to, oh my God, I was so scared because they would put the hot comb next to your scalp to straighten it, and you would feel that steam. It would be so hot. It would drive me crazy. I hate the hot comb. Now, if I want a silk press, they have to use the hot comb, and I have to like prepare myself mentally for it. But I hate the hot comb. But the hot comb is part of my culture. So carry on. Do you speak your language? I code switch. I code switch my, with my family or friends. When I'm at work, I speak proper English. But when my family and friends, I code switch. Um, me being from the Midwest, me being from Chicago, it's like there's a different region in America. And each region, you get different accents and different slangs, different codes, which we just speak differently, which I, that's what I love about America now that I'm away. I see everything that I took for granted. Like, we all have our own linguistic in America. And this is what I love about America. You can go to the South, West Coast, East Coast, the Midwest, and you can get a different accent and different slang. And in Chicago, we will have a couple slangs like on phone them, G. Uh, let me see what's another one. I would know someone's from Chicago if they would say, what side of the city are you from? Oh, which side? Like, you'd be like, oh, I'm from Chicago. Oh, they'd be like, oh, okay. Which side? And I'd be like, oh, I'm from the south side. Oh, they'd be like, oh, you from Bronzeville or Chatham? That's how you know. Or um, water. The way we say water, water, is completely different than how other people say water, water. So you could definitely tell somebody from Chicago the way they say it. We say water. Water. And now that I, now that I think back, I like, oh, I miss Chicago. Or be like, woo, 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 or a whoop de woo, or a merch, I bet. Or I'm finna pop out. Like, I'm about to pop out. It's hard to explain. Yeah. Or I hear a lot in Chicago, like, my youngest sister, my sister, she's younger than me. So their slang's a bit different because of different generations. She be like, uh, ah, you and ah, something like that. Are you lacking? But I say like, G finna pop out on bro, on phone him, water, stuff like that. Or you a goofy, definitely goofy. And there's also like, um, there's also, where is it at? Where is that at? I know my sister said on op is like originate from Chicago, but another word is originate from Chicago that all these people from all over America like to claim is thought. Thought came from Chicago. Y'all need to stop claiming that. Thought came from Chicago. We came up with that. I bet. Anyway, um, what's your Independence Day? Our Independence Day is Juneteenth. A lot of people don't consider it that, but I do. I feel like Juneteenth ce celebrates Black American culture. We have the black American flag. We like, there's certain clothes you have to wear. You play music. Woo woo, woo dee woo. So, yeah, that's our Independence Day, which is Juneteenth. Um, and that's about it, you guys. I hope you enjoy this ethnicity tag, me of my black American culture, uh, me being an ADOS or DACS. ADOS is American Descendants of Slaves, or DACS is Descendants of American Child. Descendants of American Chattel Slavery. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Share, like, and subscribe. And hopefully someone else can do this Black American tag. Alright? Bye, guys.